Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs in video games, and today I'm playing Ender Lilies. Last time on Ender Lilies, we defeated the Silva, the Guardian. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is go back to the Great Hall, because I believe that I have figured out where the secret is in the Great Hall while reviewing my footage. So, first, let's remember. All right, good. I remember my dodge button. That's the most important button to remember. Now, I want to get a secret in this room. And if I know where it is, it is a well-placed secret. It's one of the more difficult to see secrets in this game. Let's see if I think of it the way that it is. Ha ho. Oh. Oh, never mind. He still explodes when he goes into the water. I was thinking that water might make him not explode. And I was excited about that. And then I was wrong. So, these are so annoying. We need to go defeat this. One of the things that I realized last time is I was definitely making this, this, harder than it needed to be. Thinking that my controller was the problem. But actually... I can use, I can use the, what is it called? I don't have to use the D-pad. I can use the joystick on the controller to do that, which makes it much more possible, which means I should not have a problem doing my, my super attack, which is good because I was kind of worried that my controller was going to be a problem for doing all of the things that I wanted to do. And that is no longer true. I am very happy to cheese that enemy. There's one more of them over here. Looks like I can cheese that one too, if I go into the water. Requires me to defeat one of these mermaid zombies. I kind of wanted to defeat him anyway. Great, so let's cheese this one as well. Haha. -ha. I am very happy to cheese enemies when I can. Now, what I did last time is I actually hopped down to this level and couldn't go further. So I think there's actually... I'm pressing the wrong button. I think there's something like that beneath it, right? Huh. Can I not go further down here? Because that's definitely something. And I thought that using Gerard... Oh, maybe it's one of the, maybe it's one of the heavier ones, and you need to come from the very top to do it. Ho ho, that's it. I got it. And we got some stagnant blight, which means we have completed the room. Great. That's what I wanted to do in this room. Let's go back to the bench we were just at and teleport somewhere else. Very happy to have completed this room, though. As well as find the first secret that I think is very well hidden, most of the secrets have been very easy for me to find. That's the first one that I, I had trouble finding. I mean, there's probably others that I had trouble finding, I just haven't found them yet. Anyway. We need to... we need to go on the bench in order to fast travel. And I basically want to keep going new places. I guess I could go to the left. Maybe we won't fast travel. Let's go to the left first and see if we can go left of that room. We've completed this room to the left, but we haven't gone to the room after it. Oh, I remember this room. This is the room that has a, an arena that you have to defeat a whole bunch of enemies in. Don't like fighting a whole bunch of enemies at once, especially when I just started. Let's do... Uh, darn it. <laughs> For some reason, I am not using my superpower very well. There we go. 
gun. Right, so I should heal. Let's heal after we defeat this guy. Now, can I go to the left over here now? That's the question. I never broke down that door. What? That's a surprise. Didn't expect that to be the reason that I hadn't been over here. That That is an easy to see secret door. So I learned how you defeat this enemy without using my previous ways. The stink way only. However, the stink way still works pretty well. So we're going to do it a little bit. Okay, so I may have been over here before. I don't remember, but that that is a door I can't get through because it's locked. And I don't know how to open those types of doors. There we go. Defeated that. And we get one of these. So we can't actually go that way. And I definitely went up there before. Yeah, because I got the thing that was here previously. Now we're going to go somewhere new via some fast travel. Fast travel, and we're going to fast travel here and try to go right. I could go right here or right after going down. Or I could go up and to the right. Very, very many options. So one of the things that I realized I said last time is that Frisha... I'm going to go up first. Frisha mentioned that she didn't want to have a child. Like, she was not interested in having a child. And that was talking about passing on, having an heir for the next White Priestess. And I said... I don't think that's how it works. You don't have to be the biological the biological parent. However, we did learn at some point that Frisha's mother was a white priestess. So I may have been wrong about that. You might actually it might be hereditary, the white priestess powers. Which means we might be the daughter of Frisha? Maybe. What's this? Frisha's Memoirs 3. The nightmare at the Twin Spires is finally over. I've never seen so much death. Never had to purify so many. Unspeakable sights. I can't. Can anyone fathom the pain I bear? Lately, numbness infiltrates my body. A kind of unfeeling related to the pains of the blight. Were it to reach my right hand, how could I draw him the picture I promised? How could I draw him the picture I promised? Kind of a weird thing to say, honestly. I feel like something's going to happen in this room. Like there's going to be a mini boss, but maybe not. There is a down path in this room. I'm going to go right first. Let's keep going right. We've definitely entered a new area. Oh my gosh, even worse birds. They're teleport birds. I don't like teleport birds. Okay, we're in a new area. I might want to go back to where we were before. After getting to a bench. Because I don't know if I really want to go into a new area just yet. Stagnant Blight? Woo! I do like finding some stagnant blight. This area clearly requires you to have this dash to get here. As well as being able to deal with teleport birds. The hateful teleport birds. You know what? I think I think we need Gerard for the teleport birds. And I also need to use the right the correct button when using Gerard. There we go. Teleport bird down. Unfortunately, let's heal already. I could drop down. 
let's let's drop down first before we go too far to the to the right there almost said left <laughs> some more furious blight I do like getting all of that oh no that was water I thought it was I thought the water was ice covered actually all right let's let's use our skills well how about that there we go that was a very good use of the skills so we can't stand on this ice up there that ice is in the background i guess oh miss you know one of the nice things about that super attack is i appear to be invincible while while doing it and that's kind of nice there are a few places in this game where you are invincible I mean, there's the dash where you're invincible. Darn it. Why do I keep pressing Y when I mean to press X? It's a good question. I don't know the answer. Let's keep going right. Find something else new. And this is a respite. Bloodied Note 1. Day 1. Knights, soldiers, sinners, even the sorcerers are held are here for the bastion defense. Why'd they volunteer? That coven lot give me the jitters. Day five. It's been five days since this battle began. Never in my life have I seen so many blighted. And a cutscene. You seem so composed. Are you not cold? We did well to come across that amulet. Seems it helped weather the bitter frost. She's looking at herself. And what is she thinking? I much prefer warmer environs myself. Perhaps the one good thing about this form of mine is that I no longer feel anything, no matter what I may long to feel. However, a good rest to warm ourselves would do us good before we press on. I do want to rest at this new respite. Alright, the Bastion Gates. Can I enhance anybody? I have 94 of the Stagnant Blight. That does make me want to enhance someone. Let's enhance the Western Merchant again. So Western Merchant gets to level 4. I wonder what the max level is. Actually, it shows you, doesn't it? because there's little dots under the picture of the weather of the western merchant so the max level is 6 it appears like great and then we do have enough enough furious blight oh we don't because all of these are level 3 and we need 90 furious blight to upgrade them again okay so we still need more furious blight and we've never collected ancient souls so, like I said, I'm going to fast travel because I'd like to I'd like to do some things in the past a little bit more. I'm going to start at Bridgehead. I would like to do things left of Bridgehead. I know there's a few things that we can do now that we have the dash. Let's just collect some things and then move on. I'm happy to do new things too, but I want to collect some old things that I know that we can collect. So for one, can we get over there? I bet we can if we start from up there. Crush. Crush, but I did get hit. Oh, the dog. I don't think Gerard is the best for the dog, because you need a, a fast attack for the dogs. That doesn't mean I can't use him, though. But maybe I shouldn't. There. So there is something this way that I believe we can get now that I think we can get that now can we not oh no maybe we can't 
can we make it on top of this house? No. So I actually still can't get that. That's barred to me. But this room, I believe, has another such thing that can get. It's up there. I think I can get that by starting from here and dashing. Yes. Pick up some stagnant blight. That still doesn't complete the room. There's something else in this room. Let's continue moving on. There's so many birds. These birds are so much less problematic than the other birds, though. I mean the teleporting birds that we recently discovered. And we should heal. There we go. I'm just kind of going all out against these guys because I know that they're relatively easy. They don't have much life. The birds, however, the birds are more of a problem than everything else. Partially because they, they have heat-seeking attacks. Their attacks home in on me. I don't like that. There. So this is still a problem. Can we solve this problem yet? I don't think so, because I think we need to... Whoops. Darn. Guess we'll defeat this enemy. I think we need to be able to jump up higher. Yeah, I think we need to be able to jump up higher for that one. However... There's some... There's another one that I'm thinking of that we still haven't encountered. Let's go there. I am going through these rooms a lot faster than I used to. That's nice. So in this room, what is the thing that we can get? Oh gosh, don't die. Going through the rooms a lot faster doesn't mean anything if you die doing it. Oh gosh, again, don't die. enemies that can hit me for a lot if I'm not careful. Should be a little bit more careful. So there is a thing. Can we get that thing? In order to get it, we need we need to have something that we can jump from. And it doesn't look like that's over here. Yeah, it's not that direction. Can we get on top of that? I think we might be able to. Yes. Let's go. So, I don't think we can get up there. But can we get over there? Yes, we can. And then, where is the thing? It's, like, right here. A blood-stained ribbon slightly increases the amount of blight acquired. Oh! So this increases our experience gain. That's actually really good. I like that. We're going to wear that. And we completed this room. Let's go to that previous respite. There's still something I know that we can get, but I'm very happy to have gotten a relic. And we're going to go back a little bit further, get a couple more things, and then move on. To new things. Hopefully a new spirit. I basically want to get at least one new spirit every episode. However, let's rest here. 
and let's look at our relics. So we've got eight slots. The one that I care about is this bloodstained ribbon. The one that I don't care about is this rusted blue ornament. There. So the rusted blue ornament usually stays off. Everything else usually stays on. And then let's keep going back. Let's get more things. So this, I believe, is actually the room that I've been thinking of the whole time. There was something that we needed the dash to get. I believe we can now get it. I wonder how much more experience I'm getting. It's hard to know. Kind of doesn't matter. The fact that I do get more experience means that it's the greedy path and it's the, that's the path I'm going to use. Kind of doesn't matter exactly how much more because it's not going to change my my actions. Still further back. These rooms are sometimes bigger than I remember them being. There are a lot of enemies in each room. We've never done this. That's interesting. All right. That was another attempt for me using my my special attack and pressing the wrong button. Ooh, an amulet fragment, max HP plus five, and some furious blight. That's nice. And now we've completed this room. Now let's go down. And I don't care too much which way down. There's apparently two ways down. I guess we're going to heal because this is available. Let's go down. What's here? Don't remember this room as well. Can we not get up right there? We can't. We have to go around this way. I was hoping to dash onto a platform. So there's something right there. Don't know if we can use dash to get to it though. Doesn't look like something you could use dash to get to. So there's still some things back here in the first rooms that we've encountered that require us to have probably a higher jump. Maybe a third jump or just a higher jump. any case, there might still be one more thing. Yes, there is one more thing. All I have to do is dash to it. So we go up here, we move to the left, go on top of this, and then we jump, jump, dash and miss. I missed it. Try again. Go up here, then to the left, and then from here, actually, can we step on this? That's better. Jump, jump, dash. And we get some more stagnant light. Excellent. So we didn't finish this room. There's a down path from this room. That would be the way I would like to leave this room if possible. It's not here. I think it's further to the right. I think we've already passed that down path.
So one of the things that you get in most games with your dash ability is the dash also ends up being a faster way to move around. I don't know if the dash is actually faster than Lily running. I don't know. So down here, we can go through this water. Don't know if we've ever gone through that water. And then other than that, we can also get this relic. Remember, that's a mimic. A box mimic. So this relic is one of the things I was thinking of. We can now get this. It's not a relic. It's an amulet gem. Max HP plus 20. That's like four amulet fragments at once. Okay. Max HP plus 20? I think that's huge, right? I think that's huge. Oh, and there's another thing. Giant's Ring, which is a relic. Slightly increases damage dealt by attacks made while on the ground. It's like the opposite of the rusted blue ornament. A large ring tinged with magic, worn by the towering warriors of Land's End, said to be the descendants of giants. Its size makes it a viable bracelet worn on the arm of a young lady. Okay. Now let's check our map. So I want to go basically directly right in this room so that we would get to a respite relatively quickly so that we can go and do things that are new. But getting getting those relics, getting that that amulet the amulet gem, which is the first one of those I've gotten. All of that was very nice to do. Dash past you. And let's see here. This room... This room connects to where we dropped down, I think, into the catacombs. But I've never gone left in this room, I guess. So let's try going left. Clearly I haven't, because there's just some stagnant blight here. And we have finished the room by getting that stagnant blight. There's a side version of that? What does a side version of that mean? Can we... What? I don't know how that works. I don't know how a side wall that is breakable works. So I guess we're not doing that yet. That is another way of breaking things. Another type of ability that we need. Alright, let's find a spirit. And the way to find a spirit is basically to go to the new places. Also, while we're in this room, we're missing something in this room. Where could it possibly be? Maybe it's above? Or maybe it's in this water? No, I don't know. It looks like there's a very high ceiling to this room, so it might be above. Do I want the giant's ring more than something? The giant's ring takes two slots, so it would have to be, instead of something like this, slightly increases spirit uses, slightly reduces cooldown times, and reduces damage received by enemies. I think I'm good. I'm not going to wear the, the giant's ring. Now, where do we go? I say we go to here again and go right in this room or right in the room below it. And I guess going right in this room is the easiest thing to try first. We've just never walked this way. This does also connect to that other room we were just... we just discovered recently. He exploded the wrong direction? What? Hmm. 
We will use some stink on you. Just not entirely stink, like I've defeated you in the past. So let's go up first, because I want to see... I want to see what's up in this room. So, let's see if I can do this correctly. Ho ho, I did it correctly that time. Now you are kind of annoying. Let's use some stink on you. Oh, he died from one stink. How about that? He exploded. I don't exactly know how to trigger their explosions. I often do trigger them, but I'm not I'm not being very very strategic about triggering them because I just don't know how to be strategic about it. So, how do we deal with you? Let's do one of those. And that might kill you. It did. Great. What do we find? The Heirloom of Land's End. The Guardian Heirloom was of the White Priestesses is said to house a warding power that protects one from enemies, and the suffering caused by purifying the Blight. It is unknown who created it or by what means, only that it somehow came into the possession of the first White Priestess long ago. You know, we were told that an amulet was given to us by the Coven, or we don't actually know if it was us or if it was Frisha. However, I wonder if that amulet is related to what they just talked about there. If that amulet protects against the Blight. Because we know that the Coven was helping the, the White Parish with the Blight. And we know that Elaine sent some special amulet to one of the White Priestesses, presumably Lily. I think it was Lily, but it may have been... It may have been Frisha. Just dodge past that explosion. One pot. This room goes... goes a lot of places, doesn't it? So we didn't find everything in this room. I want to see how this connects to this room up here. Okay, it just connects. We just went right instead of down. So let's go down. Keep going down. Going down in this room is much easier than going up. Ooh, there's some pots there. I want to destroy those pots. So let's go up a little bit so we can destroy those pots. A pot might have something in it that we need. It does. It has an amulet fragment. Five more HP. How about that? Five more max HP, I should say. And then we go down. It looks like there's something right below this. That was candles. I missed something in that room. That's a huge room, though. It would be a little bit hard to search it completely. That's a poison pot. I'm expecting a pot enemy, and we did not find one. A ho knocked him out of the sky. Granted, he's gonna, going to come back, but still. Oh, it doesn't look like he's coming back. Got him. Great. So the one problem with fighting in this game is that it's very hard to fight things below you. It's relatively easy to fight things above you, and it's pretty hard to fight things that are down from you. Oh man, you, you guys hit me a few more times than I really liked there. Okay, that farthest pot is an enemy. I can tell. By just the... the hue of the pot. 
when a pot is infested by an enemy, it becomes a darker hue. And let's see how much our heal does. It does not do even half now, because we've gotten so much extra health. There's a crossing in the map? That's so weird. Nope. Stop hitting me. So there's something above me that's producing those, and that's that's really not good. I'm getting a ton of damage. I also got damaged by this guy while trying to deal with that. So those little... Whoa! I am very worried about this. What is that? We're going to do our super special attack on it. And we need to heal again. Okay. We're going to use several of our abilities destroying this thing. Because there's no reason not to use abilities. Okay. There's still these little things which might kill me, actually. Oh, man. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Let's put those behind me. Keep doing those. A White Priestess Statue. That's a new collectible. Increases the maximum number of uses for healing prayer by one. That is huge. A statue of the White Priestess of the Dawn, unearthed by a follower of the White Parish. She who saved Land's End from the Blight became an object of hope and faith. That's huge. Of course, it didn't affect me yet. I might have to rest at a respite before it affects me, which is kind of annoying. Let's defeat this archer. Oh no, there's more, there's more enemies this way. Okay. What's the best way for me to get to a respite? Check our map. I could go down and to the left, or I could go up a couple times. Either way, there's probably enemies. I need to go to a respite, though. And this is going down. I think I want to go up rather than down. I don't actually know which is the easier path. Just need to go to a respite. That is a pot enemy. That's very dangerous. Let's do one of these. Still did not kill the pot enemy. <laughs> oh no, there we go. All right. That was kind of expected. Well, we did still complete all of those things. So on the map, we have found those areas and completed those rooms. So that's good. And if we rest... Oh, the white... Oh, the white priestess statue is a relic. We have to wear it. Well, I think that's more important than... than the music box and... Manissa's ring. Let's wear it. That white, white priestess statue is pretty nice to have. So, now where do I want to go? I want to keep going down. Let's go down and then to the right this time. Whoops. So going down is actually going this direction. And then to the right. We found a lot of new things this time. I'm very happy with what we found. It's just kind of sad that we haven't found a spirit. Because I do like finding spirits. Let's see here. This one we can defeat the old cheesy way. 
do like the old cheesy way. Oh, and we just never went down into this water. How about that? There's some furious blight right there. And then to go right in this room, we need to be able to get up there, which I think we can. We just need... We just need to follow the path up and then go to the right. So this thing, I remember that thing. It was quite annoying to deal with the first time. Oh my gosh. I'm dodging into them. That is a very poor way of defeating enemies. Oh my gosh, I died. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Let's try that again. Can't believe I died there. That's very surprising to me. As much as I dislike those, those enemies that put out the little ones, I shouldn't be dying to them that frequently. It was the cause of both deaths, though. So, let's see here. Let's do that. And then do this. Very nice. That gets rid of that problem. The rest of the problem shouldn't be too bad. Oh, he swung over. <laughs> he actually swung over to where I was, and that's what killed me. Or not killed me, but hit me. Crushed. I should use my Dark Witch Elaine power more, I think. Because it's a long-ranged attack that I can use without much trouble. So, can I get up there? I think I can. Maybe I can't. Oh, right. There's this. I forgot about that. <laughs> it does kind of blend in. Wow, look at that swing. <laughs> He's going crazy. This is another one of those I did not notice until I started lifting up into the air. And we've just never gotten this. More stagnant blight. It's very nice. And then we want to go... Huh, I don't think we can go to the right in this room. Because in order to go to the right, we need to be able to go farther up than I think we can. Interesting. So is this another place where we need another movement ability? Oh, wait a minute. There's this right here. Haha. Uh -huh. I just can't see the water that's bringing me up. We're going to heal before we go into whatever this is. This is another one of those. Interesting because I've only found the previous one this episode. And what's this? Pick up holy spring water. Another relic increases the potency of the healing prayer. How about that? A bottle of water drawn from the fountainhead, a spring in the hinterlands where the white priestess of the font was born. It is said the priestess was named after the place of her birth and named just so, just like the priestesses that came before her. So, oh, relic hunter. How about that? I obtained 10 relics. Got an achievement. So where does this go? Because it says we already completed the room, but we can go... That's another way into that room. Okay. Well, now what we want to do is we want to go to a respite and finish the episode. 
because we have done quite a lot and this has been this has been amazing i actually have enough relics now that i have to choose which ones to put on i like that i like having that instead of just having a whole bunch of passive abilities that i just always have on you're kind of supposed to have to make choices on those <laughs> he shot straight up. Now then. I guess we could go down. I want to check whether this is a thing. It is a thing. How about that? What is it? It's an amulet fragment. Plus five max health. And we've finished this room now. Excellent. There is a down path in this room, except that we can't go down it. Because you have to come up from the bottom the first time you go through. Just running past all of these enemies. Not necessarily the smartest thing to do. And let's rest. So next time we're definitely going east and going to the new area, but for now, we've gotten a bunch of relics. Which ones am I going to wear? I should make that choice a little bit more. So in this one increases the potency of the healing prayer. This one slightly increases max HP. So this one gives 5 max HP if I remember correctly. So we're at 215. We take it off, we're at 205. Oh, it gives 10, actually. Let me look at this. The prayer potency is 95. This makes the prayer potency 119. Weird, but that does make it a lot better than the soiled prayer beads. A lot better. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got four prayer uses. The prayer uses are better. I get more experience. I have cooldown times that are lower, so I get to use my abilities more often. And I have the parry ability all the time. Great. And then we depart. In this episode, I made it to level 41. Also, I collected 79 Stagnant and 43 Furious Blight this time, which is the most I've collected of either of those in a single episode. Only a plus one on spirits this time, from upgrading the Western Merchant to level four. One new achievement as well, this is the sixth episode in a row that I've gotten one new achievement each episode. I also collected my first amulet gem as well as three more amulet fragments. I collected a whopping four additional relics this time. The Giant's Ring, Bloodstained Ribbon, White Priestess Statue, and Holy Water. I also decided to wear three of those new relics. This episode, I've had to make hard decisions on which relics to wear for the first time, as I have half as many relic slots as I could fill with my relics. Check out my tracking sheet, link in the video description. New episodes every Sunday, and thanks for watching.